Hello everyone. Welcome to part four of my City Skylines playthrough. Um, last time I did some expansion on the residential and filled in some of the area between the highways. This time I need to... Well, I've just got access to the rail, so I'm going to look into bringing rail up from the uh, rail connection to the industrial area. Okay, so the rail is over here. It's over here. I don't have enough money, so I'm going to have to uh, look at other things for the moment. But first off, I'll speed up the, the game. And since there's a high residential demand, I'll construct some more of that. Ah, right. I remember what I was doing. I, first off, I need to widen this road. And that requires relocating this park over one. Like so. And... It means I have to lose those roads. bring this down. Ooh, I didn't move the park far enough. I needed to move it too. Okay.
I think I messed up my bus routes there. Yeah. Okay, so far so good. Now, now I can go ahead and start
Okay, so that's some more space. And I'm going for low density here again. Actually, I'll put some commercial over here. And a park in here. And I'll speed things along some more here. You know what? I want to build that rail line, so I'm going to... Oops, that's the wrong one. I'm going to take out a loan. The thing about these loans is you can pay them off early at any time so okay so over here I need to build a train station specifically a cargo train station cargo. Okay. There we go. Now I need to link that up down here. Okay. Clearly I need to curve this. Okay, yep, stuff is actually linking up there, so that's good. Now, the thing about this um, single station setup is it will transport cargo into and out of the city, uh, goods and uh, going out and various uh, raw material coming in. I also don't need the extra length of road there.
Okay. Now if we take a look here. Haven't been operating long enough to get a stats on there. But you can see the bus is doing pretty well. I'm going to save this. Don't want to lose it when you've actually accomplished something. Whoops. Turn off the overlay. This um, location here is fairly strategic, so if I do end up having to demolish a chunk of this, I can just move the uh, industrial stuff over here and the highway will fit through. As a matter of fact, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing is demolishing a bit in this corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the uh, industrial this way in preparation. Okay, so that's going to require water. Okay. And I need to zone it. I do have fire there, okay. Okay. So far, so good. Ah, I've got me some traffic there. I think I should expand that road. Okay, so traffic seems to be functioning reasonably well there. I think what I'm going to have to do here is bring the highway up and over.
Okay, I think I need to densify some stuff here. Densify. I wonder if that's actually a word. Okay, so I've got enough cash here. I can actually go in and pay off the loan. There we go. Now let's take a look at that transportation thing again. Eh, it's not showing anything. Oh well. that ooh education's a problem wait up I need a university. That's the problem. Now also need some other education resources over here. Yeah, so since the uh, update, this does seem to be a bit uh, snappier for response. So I guess they were right when they said they were uh, improving the uh, performance on Linux. I'm actually uh, playing using Linux, so that uh, that actually, as you can imagine, is. Uh, quite a pleasing uh, result for me um, okay water treatment and a crematorium excellent so I'm a big city next is a grand city where we get the solar power okay so first up whoops first up sewage treatment plants Okay, uh, water. Now these have a slightly greater capacity than 
the plain old uh, stormwater outflows, or rather sewage outflows. Okay, so that will ultimately clear up this, um, most of this uh, pollution here that's uh, appearing. Uh, that should start to flow away now that uh, this is putting in much less polluted uh, um, water. Now, I need to add some crematoriums. Now, contrary to what you'd expect, people actually like these things. So, putting them beside your citizens is not a bad thing. Ah! My landfills have emptied. Two of them. Oh, apparently a cat came to say hello. Connection. Okay. Yeah, that's not something you want to be doing. Okay, let's see how the education front is doing now. Okay, the population is slowly creeping up into highly educated. That's good. crematorium over on this side as well. And I'm going to 
stash one over here too. There, that should give good coverage on the uh, city for uh, death care, they call it in here. Uh, I guess they call it that as the opposite of health care. Uh, though exactly what kind of care you need when you're dead is beyond me. Uh, on account of, well, you're dead, so you don't really care. But, you know what? They want to call it death care. That's cool. In fact, I don't know really what the a good alternative heading would be for that, really. Okay, I'm raising the density some more right along there. Notice I'm doing it along the main road uh, as opposed to back a bit. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to actually expand this uh, main road here. Now, with the way the traffic uh, simulation goes in this particular game, uh, it doesn't, the more lanes don't do as much for the traffic as you would expect them to, but it does help some. I think part of the problem is the uh, drivers uh, commit to the lane they want uh, far too far in advance. By committing so far in advance, what they do is they'll bottleneck one lane and leave all the other lanes on the road empty. And that's not terribly helpful uh, when, the, uh, when the traffic's backed up. In fact, the cars aren't smart enough to, if they need to go past the next exit where the traffic stopped, to bounce over a lane and go around the obstruction and then get back into the lane they want. Now I don't know how hard that would be to actually simulate so uh, you know I can give them the benefit of the doubt on that uh, at least initially but I do hope they have a market improvement in the traffic simulation uh, in future patches.
Well, so far so good over here. What I'm going to do though is bring the power around the back way into that area so that I can demolish stuff over here without breaking anything. Because what I'm going to end up doing is bringing the highway, I'm going to end up curving it around through here. And I think that's going to mean elevating it. And while I do that, I'm going to be creating myself a traffic problem. See, here's that uh, thing with the uh, committing early. It doesn't predict uh, lane availability particularly well either. Now, of course, uh, regular human drivers don't do that very well either, so that's not terribly surprising. Anyway, I think I'm going to have to bring the bend through here. So I think the first thing I'll do is start building the new highway over this way. And I think I'll have to elevate it all the way through here just for simplicity. I can slow the simulation down now. Okay, so I want curved. Oh, they've improved mouse targeting as well. Okay, excellent. Whoops. I can go with slow. I don't need to stop it. Okay, so where does the, okay, I want the highway to come along this way, so.
Oops. Okay, now how do I drive the highway through there? Isn't that neat? You can have uh, intersections underneath the elevated roads. Okay, so I think I have to come... Ah!
Okay, so this is way harder than it needs to be.
Okay, well that was a great deal of excitement for relatively little. Okay, so that lets me get this way. And this lets me get this way. Okay, so to complete the diamond, I need to come off this direction. Okay, so I can get from, so I need to go from this way to this way. Okay. Perhaps not the best uh, interchange going, but it should work. There's one more aspect I need to
Okay, well, that's kind of a a dumb structure, but I think it'll do for the moment. Okay. Let's see what it looks like from the side. <laughs> Apparently it's higher than it needs to be. Oh well. Okay, so at some point I'll drop this back down to ground level. I made it to a grand city. I think... I think uh, with the grand city status, I'll call it a part here. Um, I definitely need to rethink this mess over here. Uh, probably by demolishing the roads, bringing the highway through, and bringing my other roads across over top. Um, since you can build arbitrary intersections on, on bridges with uh, skylines, um, I can actually elevate this intersection and then bring the ramps in from the highway a little more sanely. Um, Although it's not quite clear exactly um, what I should do there. But I'm going to leave this alone for the moment. Um, it may clear up here uh, if I get uh, some of this straightened out. Actually, wh what I'll do first of all like right away is uh, bring the uh, bring the ramp in that way um, that should reduce the strain on the intersections there Yeah, that means I don't have two intersections within, like, two feet, so that should help. Now, I clearly have a lot more freight traffic trucks in here than is ideal, so I clearly need to rethink the way this is set up. But I think that would be helped uh, if, if when this finally gets through and connects somewhere. Okay. So... Um, I'm going to save the game. What the... Oh dear. Had this happen before. For some reason it won't overwrite in that case. Okay, so I'll pause the game. I'll save. Oh boy. Okay, and now I'll exit. 
Okay, so that's it for part four. I'll see you guys back in part five. Thank you for watching.